Hey guys, so today we're going to try out a new technique on how can we keep our river shell alive even though when we accidentally executed the command control plus C which will terminate our river shell session. So let's try it out first for the normal execution over here. We're going to use DVWA command execution vulnerability this part as a demo session. Over here. Okay, so I'm going to use the netcat openbsd this river shell command, spawn a river shell. Okay, close. Try out normal command execution first. Okay, successfully over here. Okay, so now we paste the reverse shell command over here. And then we're gonna change this one to our IP address, our host IP address. Okay, go back to here. We're gonna open up one echo listener, execute the reverse shell command, and as you can see over here, we are just Capture the reverse shell from the remote server. And we can execute the command remotely on the remote server. But the problem is that if we executed the command computer C, <coughs> which means that our reverse shell session has been terminated, even though we start up our naked listener, right? The reverse shell won't be returned back to us. So, how can we solve this problem over here? Okay, so first, we're gonna create a file over here. We name it as a backdoor. And then I'm gonna copy the command again, copy everything else, and I'm gonna paste it over here. Okay, and David, remove the necessary file. Okay. okay, so this is our remote remote shell, the reverse shell command over here. Now I'm gonna create a HTTP server. Okay, I'll host it over here, and then First, we're going to download the backdoor script into the remote server first. Okay. Okay. I'm going to write it into the temp directory. Okay. After I've done it, I'm going to print. Okay, so the command executed successfully. Okay, now I'm gonna switch mode to let to let it able to execute it. Okay, so done. Okay, done. So now we're gonna create a bar location. Bar true. Double okay, dash. So let me explain what does this command do over here. Okay, so as you can see over here, var true, which means that this command within the var true this bracket over here, it means that it will execute endlessly and then do do the what command we need to do over here. Bin bash uh let's see flag over here and then pmp test backdoor, which means that we will execute the test backdoor this reverse shell script endlessly and then after we execute it we're gonna make it sleep for 10 seconds so after 10 seconds sleeping it will execute the same command again and again okay so after we click submitting as you can see we have just captured the reverse shell command okay we can execute the command remotely over here and let's try it out if we execute the control c accidentally so we want to get the reverse shell session back again, right? So how can we do that? We just okay. We just open up our naked listener and start it again. So we just wait for it. Within ten seconds, the reverse shell will return back to us. And as you can see over here, we have just captured our reverse shell again, even though we just accidentally executed the control C command. So it means that if we accidentally terminated our river shell within a 10 second this time frame we will get the river shell back to us again so that's all for my video thanks guys